Danny Willett winning the Masters is very much the talking point of this season. So whilst I've been down here at the BMW PGA Championship, I've been talking to some of the voices in the game to dig a little deeper into Danny's story and to find out more about his journey to becoming Masters champion. Just describe to us that moment on Sunday when you realised you could actually win the Masters. Um, yeah, it wasn't until kind of 15, 16, and then yeah, out of nowhere he's gone from from five to one as we walked off 15 down to 16, and then it was kind of a well, a uh, realization that, that it could happen, and um, kept the thoughts and stuff pretty good, and and obviously came up with 16 with, uh, with a pretty nice golf shot there to line up a birdie to to kind of then just keep moving forward, keep pressing. You know, we've been chasing all day trying to make birdies, and um, you know me and Johnny made a, a bit of a path that we we're going to stay aggressive regardless of what happened and uh, and see what we could uh, what we could produce and yeah there you go we all knew the potential of of Danny Willett really going all the way back to his amateur days when he was world amateur number 1 but the way that he'd been playing in the big events really suggested that he has the temperament to succeed when the biggest prizes are on the line on the 16th tee he hit the shot of his life and he wasn't daunted by suddenly being catapulted to the top of the leaderboard. And that's in keeping with his character, but he is a ruthless competitor and someone who is determined to win many, many more titles than just this Masters. How much do you think the distraction of the baby and not coming in under a spotlight, how much do you think that could have helped him that week? I think it did help him calm him down a little bit, you know, and there wasn't that build-up that they always get at the Masters. A lot of them arrive a little bit too early, and by the Thursday, they're, you know, they're, they're almost past what they really where they want to be and I've seen that quite a few players that they have actually got there too early and by Thursday they're almost burnt out. Danny made his return to the European Tour at the Irish Open. He finished tie 23rd after playing some great golf during the week. Ultimately, he's the first European Tour player to win the Masters since Ola Thalbor in 1999. So the vibe here at the BMW PGA Championship and across the tour is that he sparked a new wave of success for the Europeans in the majors. I think it's massive for, you know, for the European Tour guys to see that it's actually possible and that a fairly young guy like Danny that we all know very well to win the Masters, you know, it's, it's very special and uh, sometimes we feel like it's, uh, it's, it's very far away to win tournaments like that, but Danny showed us that it's, uh, it's closer by than we think and I think that gives us all a lot of confidence and, uh, and maybe more drive to go after it and, uh, and do it ourselves one day. Knowing Danny as you do on tour, what do you think it is about his character that allowed him to achieve such a huge thing? Um, I think he's, he's very, very driven. Um, he kind of reminds me a little bit of Nick Faldo in his heyday and, you know, he's, he's very much in his own world. He doesn't really speak to too many people, but he's, he's just very driven. You know, he's got this little bit of arrogance about him, which I think all great golfers have. And, um, you know, and he's, he's a really, really hard worker. You know, he, he leaves no stone unturned and, you know, he's gone out there and, and done it under the sort of utmost of pressure. And, uh, you know, he deserves everything he gets. Danny doesn't go out of his way to make friends with players on tour. And it's not because he's an unfriendly person and you only need to speak to him away from the course or away from his office, which is, you know, where he's, where he's doing his work. Um, and he's, he's very approachable and he can be very funny. He's quite intense. And it's that nature, really, that is compared, I think, with, with Fowler. It's that ability to, to recognise that he's here to do a job and nothing must get in the way of what he's here to achieve. And I think because of that, I wouldn't be surprised to see him have a career as good as Faldo's because, because he's, he's tasted success at the very highest level. He believes that he can do it now and I think we'll continue to do that. And I think that's a fair comparison. We first met Danny on Golfing World exactly 12 months ago when I sat down with him here at Wentworth. Fast forward a year and a lot has changed for him on and off the course. One major down, plans to perhaps take another one home this year? <laughs> oh well, it'd be nice, there's no point in getting too far ahead. Um, yeah, I mean to win to win a major in your career is obviously fantastic and um, again I don't think you can really look too far forward and say yes or no or which events kind of fit better and this, that, the other. you just got to, like I said, just got to keep working hard and um, if it's, all I, all I know now is that if it's my week, it doesn't matter what the field is or, or where you are in the world. Um, you can achieve it, so you know that's a massive confidence booster in that aspect. Um, but yeah, it's just you know ticking them boxes, keep working hard, keep everything in place, um, and see what you can do. The confidence you get from even just winning a tournament is massive. So winning a major has got to be twice, you know, twice as good really. 
and I think he will go on. Uh, it won't be a one hit one drill actually progress because he works very, very hard. This has been a natural progression so far. And what he demonstrated at Augusta is that he's not afraid to win the biggest prizes. He's not afraid when he's thrust into that position to go on and do what is necessary. I don't see those powers deserting him now that he has a green jacket on his shoulders. In fact, I see him being emboldened by that and going on to win more majors. Wonderful Willett. And it's Danny's day in the desert surf Dubai. Once he started to win and started to compete with the very best players around him, I think it probably confirmed in his mind that he was as good as he thought he really was. Uh, and so when it came to the point where he had to prove himself at the Masters, no, he had it. And I think he will now look at the likes of Rory and Jordan and, and, and Jason Day and say, no, I can compete with you guys and I can do it on a, on a weekly basis. And I think that's what he expects of himself. And I don't think any of us should be surprised if that's what he does.